let's think about how you might plan out a lesson in a traditional setting. Because I know when I'm trying to plan out a lesson, I'm looking at a few things and I'm back mapping my way to understanding what I should be teaching. So I might be looking at our standards, I'll be checking our learning objectives, um, any summative assessments, common assessments, whatever we're given, and kind of understand what it is that the students are expected to know by the end of a unit or a lesson. Um, and so I need to know that before I move forward and decide what engaging lessons I'll be able to plan to meet that goal. And then throughout, I'm doing those engaging lessons and then I'm stopping and checking, to under, un, checking their understanding, which means I'm looking to see, do they get it? Are they with me? Do they understand it? And that's done in multiple ways. And then I'm letting the student know and giving them feedback and, on their progress, providing support if necessary. And then I'll end up going back into engaging lessons and continuing with those engaging lessons until we have completed the entire unit or the entire week, whatever our, our goal is. And so ultimately all of that will lead to our summative assessment that students will take. So that's happening in the regular traditional setting. And that's the same thing and same lesson design that I'm also doing when I'm doing um, virtual learning as well.